Low Profile is supported by you at patreon.com slash lowprofile. Also, we receive in-kind support from Three Magnets Brewing Company and Schurler Easy Premium Shitty American Lager, Rainy Day Records, San Francisco Street Bakery, Schwartz's Deli, and Old School Pizzeria. What's up? Mark Lee Morrison here, presenting the third installment of highlights from Schurler Sunday's 2023 concert and interview series recorded in front of a live audience behind the historic Carnegie Library in Olympia, Washington. On today's show, Carl Blau returns to the program with some new material and new takes on older material. Then Olympia band Tim McBride and The Divide close out the show with a hearty helping of rock and roll magic. This episode was engineered by Keffa Crow, documented by Andrew Ebright, and edited by Rose Nielsen. If you haven't made it out to Shirley Sundays yet this year, this weekend is the last chance with Olympia's Blues Fairies and LA's Gun Outfit and Amps for Christ, August 13th at 3 p.m. Here's today's recap recorded on July 9th, 2023. Hi, everybody. Hey. We're here. It's Schurler Sundays. And uh, it's great to see you all. People come from near and far. But uh, without further ado, thanks to Crow for doing the sound, making everything wonderful here. And thanks to Andrew for documenting this event today. We've got three cameras and a bunch of microphones rolling. But don't miss anything, especially this guy right here. It's Carl Blau, all the way from Philadelphia. We got Aaron Odheim, all the way from Chicago. Evan Woodle, all the way from the exotic city of Seattle, Washington. And John Hyde here on the pedal steel, all the way from what? Seattle. I've heard of this place. Yeah. Prepare to be blown away. We're going to do this now. Hit it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Come here and look through the window, oh Marie Open up the shutter, tell me what you see Was that his knock that I heard at the door? Or is it six white horses coming down the road? And touch me and say that it's all right. You know that to my eyes the days are as the night. Read again the letter that tells me where he's gone. To the hell with the fight. I want my son home. I taught him how to fish And I taught him to be strong I taught him that killing any man was wrong
But tomorrow in battle I'd run to where he stood If the help of a blind man do any good Last night I went to his room for a while I touched all the things that he used as a child I rocked the cradle where he used to lay I found his tin soldiers and threw them away Come here and look through the window of the reef. Open up the shutters, tell me what you see Was that his knock that I heard at the door? Or is it six white horses coming down the road?
your arms stretched out to the side. Your feet walk in a line. And though you humble at the knees, keep your head up on this balance beam. I was having a lot of nostalgic trip outs on that song because it <laughs> recorded that song like right over there, just a little a couple stones throws from here. Markley, Markley was there. Um, Andrew, you were there for that some of that session. <laughs> hey, man, cool.
y'all really excited to be here and play music for you it's a beautiful day and this shade tree is so lovely it's just almost reaching all of those those tables it's, they must have must have um figured that out how that works it set the tables just right um thanks for being here everyone um tim mcbride and his band are gonna play um after us we're excited and that's gonna be cool I wish we could stay and see that. We're, we're busting it down to Portland to play Doug for tonight. Um, so we're going to miss that, but that'll be great. It's wonderful to be in Olympia. We, when we, right when we rolled in, we, we, got, we hit the artesian well. We like rolled right in there and just got, got acclimated. I felt like that's such a great, uh, I love that um, accessibility of that place. Um, this next song is called uh, Blue Is My Name. And it's off this record called Out Her, Out Her Space. Came out in 
finished folding paper, a thousand thousand cranes in all. It's enough to fill the pool. Is it enough to break the fall? Now my bed is on the corner of a scent and transcend. Now she takes the time to breathe. See her take the time to mend. She takes the time to breathe. See her take the time to mend. a show hell of a show thank you all so much how about how about everybody man rocking some nice harmonies today thank you um i liked your strings thank you very much you're kind to say that yeah I, which ones did you like do you like the the high ones or the low ones i prefer the high ones oh, thank you. they make me cry a little more appreciate it cool that's my goal high, high lonesome crying people <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so where did you come from? What's your story? What's my story? Yeah. Uh, well, I grew up in Alaska, and I went to college in North Carolina, and I live in Seattle. How's that? Is that, is that the story you're looking for? That's about the size of it. Yeah. 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 How long have you been friends with this uh, show bud over here? Uh, I don't know, 25, 25, 30 years probably. You're getting pretty damn good at it. I'm working at it. I'm doing my best. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for your hard work. Much obliged. All right. And Evan, Aaron, thanks for coming back two weeks in a row and bringing a different pedal steel player every week. Did you all see Heat Warmer last week? Yeah. They're all over. Yeah. Um, Carl, can I ask you a couple things okay. about... Um, well, I mean, what's going on in Philadelphia? I see there's a new LP over there I haven't seen from Opal Esker. Yeah, that's um, a band that came together in Philadelphia. Um, Robbie Bennett and Charlie Hall from The War on Drugs and um, Chet Del Campo and John Hayward Hawkins um, is the group um, that, that recorded the record. Uh huh. And they, they're just like, hey, we need a singer. Do you know anybody? Yeah, that's right. They called me up and were like, hey, our last thing, the, we tried out this, they had these like, de, like songs they were working on, like pieces of songs, and they were like, we tried out this one singer, and he just wasn't really into it, and then and we, we saw you came to town, and we were wondering if you'd take a crack at some of these t tunes, and so... So you we went to the audition? There was and... no lyrics, there was no melodies. Oh, wow. Um, it was just this backing tracks, or like three songs. Okay. Um, and so, and I sent some demos back, and they were really into it, so we... Ended up recording together. Or I, I put the stuff on tape. and Okay. And then it just kind of blossomed. We had such a good time doing that. We kind of kept going and did a couple more, three more. Cool. Yeah. And do you, uh, do you exist as a band in, a, in the do, formal sense? Yeah, we, we do. The, um, we played a couple shows. Um, I don't know if we're going to... I think we're just going to be more like a studio project. Uh -huh. um, uh, but it, it, was, it felt like the, 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 all the... Um, Rehearsals leading up to the shows felt were just like train wreck rehearsals. I was like, we're never gonna be able to play these songs. And then, but then we played shows and they it worked out just fine. You know, it's funny like that. Like yeah. when you get in front of people, you're like, oh, this is serious. I better do the thing. For sure, as we've seen today. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Saw some of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a little bit. Hey, um, so what what else is going on in Phil? You've been there like what almost a decade, huh? It's almost five years. Yeah. Almost yeah. five, almost half a decade. Almost half a decade, and uh, I, you know I love my neighborhood and I love Philadelphia and the folks. Um, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a city person per se. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm. I'm came, I grew up on Samish Island. Um, moved to Anacortes from there. So it was. It's a big, big um, difference to move to the city like that, and it's something I 
uh, was getting many, mentally prepared for, but, it, you know, it's just intense. I mean, Olympia's got a little more of a city vibe, but, you know, the, just sirens all day long and, like, really, it's loud. everything's loud. I'm a sensitive person, um, I'll admit. How have you <laughs> changed? I don't know if I'm, I'm like, I'm, I don't know how long it's longer I'm going to hang. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um, but my wife loves it, and, uh, and we found some great schools, uh, for, school for... Uh, youngest daughter and our oldest daughter is living there and she's doing she's enjoying it yeah yeah yeah. how have i changed i don't know i've resisted change i think quite a bit but Mm -hmm. i'm sure it's gotten in somehow um do you still say water or do you say water 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 i i've incorporated john into it Um, oh good good you know about john yeah can we tell him so phil Mm -hmm. phil uh pennsylvania and i think pittsburgh and philly in particular have this word john it's like smurf you can use it for like if you both know what the object is, you just say, you know, pass me that John, and you don't have to say what it is, um, it's just a John. J-A-W-N. Or we can go to, like, well, let's go to the John. Like, you both know where you're going. You don't have to say what the thing is. J-A-W-N. Like this, John. this right here. This John. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. This John, that John. As long as, it's like a, it's the familiar, yeah. I'm glad that that has, uh, it's got some longevity there. <laughs> it's still a thing. It's still a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Killer. You can not. You won't not hear that when you go to the city. You'll hear it. Yeah. Yeah. It's everywhere. <laughs> mm-hmm. And thanks for bringing it out west. What are you? Uh, what are you up to? What are you working on? Anything? Uh, anything on the horizon that we should know about? Any feature films? Any uh, puppet shows? Any uh, <laughs> new 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 brand of cologne? What What do you there, got going? There is on? a puppet show. It won't be revealed for another couple years. Uh huh. The Pirates of Yarn. It's the Bjarn Crochet, he's the main pirate. He's got a crochet hook instead of a hand. Um, mm-hmm. It's a puppet show. Not for kids only. Um, but yeah, it's, good. It, we're, it's a work in progress. I got the group together. We got to make our puppets. We're working on our puppets and we're writing the storyboards and stuff. Okay. And then uh, that'd be fun to take that out around. Um, but you still then, doing the song thing? What was that? You still doing like the songwriting thing? Uh, which one? Oh, oh. Um, you know what I'm doing? I'm up in Anacortes in the next few weeks. I'm going to be doing a rock camp up there. Oh, wow. Like we did last year. We're extending it to two weeks this year. Mm-hmm. So it's been grow- expanding Anacortes Music Project. Still got like a foot in the door over there. But um, in Philly, the other thing I'd like to mention is that I have this band called Country Gravel, Carl Blau and Country Gravel. And, um, really? It's Joseph Krause and Corinne Dodenhoff, bassist and drummer. Um, and we're going to work on a record. We're going to go to Chattanooga and record a record. I fell in love with the sound guy at that show in Chattanooga I was uh-huh. mentioning, named Alex. Just a uh, real stoner, but he really um, just had this incredible way of like making the room sing, just vibrate. It was just incredible. Um, so I, tr- I, I think I trust him to record a record with us. So yeah, we're gonna try. Re- we're gonna record a record of like gruntry music. I'm calling it. It's grunge meets country. All right, yeah. Grunge, which is a lot of grunge already exists. Um, maybe uh, you could say Neil Young and. St- and uh, MJ Lenderman, um, sure, sure, bunch of good stuff. And, yeah, you're you're a pretty young fella, but mm-hmm. as as the years go by, I've noticed a lot more twang. Mm-hmm. It just mm-hmm. becomes more and more twang, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. More John, more twang. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm hoping. But, yeah, I, I've just really uh, seen country music since introducing and when that you know 2015 recorded that. Mm-hmm. Um, I just have and and. Um, just fell in love with country music. I'm really in a Jerry Jeff Walker phase right now. I'm just like oh nice, just crushed over Jerry Jeff Rock- Walker. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And he died in the co. He died in the that you know all those songwriters you know John Prine and Kenny Rogers and and Jerry Jeff all kind of left at the same time. Yeah, we lost a slew of them. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, uh, yeah. So twang, more twang. Yeah, I'm glad to hear it. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to? Tell these people about. Uh, oh wait, no. There's something oh. I want to know about. There's a record I've never seen before. It's got half of your face on it and half of somebody oh. else's face. Can you please That's tell right. me? Yeah, that came out pretty what? recently. Thanks for mentioning yeah. that. Um, this uh, poet named Stephen Roxborough and I collaborated on a on a. Um, he sent me his his voice recorded, his poetry recorded, and then I put like backing tracks um, to that. So it's a collaboration um, across the. Across the states, we did that. He's in Langley, Washington, up on Whidbey. Woo! Whidbey. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I like Langley that place. Represent. I know. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
and, uh, and he's just wonderful. And I've been in love with his poetry for years, and we've been talking about collaborating. And then, and then we finally started doing it, and it uh, took about a year to kind of come together over the last couple of years. And um, and then it just came out like early, like in March, I think this cool. year. Yeah. So yeah, it's called. Uh, it was. It doesn't. It's just called Rocks Blau. Rocks Blau, or anyway, Stephen Rocks Bro, Carl Blau collab. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I can't wait Thank to you. check that out. Yeah. And uh, you're you're gonna get going pretty soon. That's right. We you got a, hit, we're a whole nother gig. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sound. We're not we're not making sound check. I told him no sound check. Yeah. Screw you, that. You did sound check here. Yeah. We did sound check already. Yeah. Thanks again, so, Crow. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Martha. Hey, thanks, Carl. Carl Blau and his band. One of the biggest sweethearts to come out of the Pacific Northwest. All right, I hope everybody brought extra socks because Tim McBride and the Divide are going to knock the ones that you're wearing right off of your damn feet, okay? Don't go anywhere. They're going to bring an amazing performance for you. And coming up next, Tim McBride and the Divide. Hold on. It's going to be incredible. Love you. Chevrolet on a highway Lit with love and never look back Cylinders pound as hard as your heart As the sky dropped a curtain of black Romantic hopes and inside jokes Will turn a low fi break of song Gotta hold your head high and pretend You were right when everything was clearly going wrong You were fueled on despair Dying more than a jet black hair Northbound with the pedal down Diving in a trouble in a dried up town The time's gone, the darkness coming around Goodbye Still sitting in the sky Lie high on hello Northwest night You never felt so lost and lonesome You've run over by the rolling day Want it so bad to know real love and understand what it could mean But you threw yourself head over heels into the gears of its machine When the mercy finally hit a kill switch there was not much left to save Just a double of damage kids that managed to somehow turn out okay You were fueled on despair, dying more than a jet black hair Westbound with the pedal down Diving in a trouble in a drought of town The time's gone, darkness coming around Goodbye the Still sitting in the sky Lie high on hello Northwest night You've never felt so Lost in motion Run over by the rolling day Seven years now, to eleven years now, and the dreams of love never died. Back at the sound of an old friend, you found a voice in the troubled times. Rolling around in an old friend, you found a voice in the troubled times. No one around you, though your heart from the ground, and you were open to the right. Goodbye, lonely nights in the gray skyline. No more living life, you're just waiting to die. You were feeling broken so long You don't remember the last Time you gave your love out on the line Goodbye Lonely nights of the gray skyline Hello, love of your
For all you ever gonna feel like you belong with it Salva notes to the sweetest song friend The light is shining the spotlight on All you dreamt you would do in the dark Are you ever gonna let the sweet breeze in Windows are closed on both it again And let the uneasy feeling float off in the wind We get lost to come so far The day is here The time is now you gotta find the little light to read the fault somehow. Look in your battle, choose your spot. You only got one life to live, give it all you got. Something resembling settling in with your friends Eat mine and your too few friends Lie that you like it that way Will you ever be good enough for yourself Instead of tied up trying to please everyone else You've been away, it's your chance Hard in your health Dreaming will be different someday The day is here The time is now You gotta find a little light Through the fog somehow Picking your battle Jesus is only got one life to be here, give it all you got. When you're feeling mean and in between, last year's model and empty bottle, starting over don't come with a guarantee. Sitting still when you know that it's over, sad when you're just one step closer to settling for something less than your life could be. Don't settle, day is here. Time is now. You gotta find a little light through the fog somehow. Picking your battle, choose your spot. You only got one life to live, and give it all you got. All you got. You only got one life to live, and give it all you got. Only got one life to live, give it all you got. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for coming out. I'm Tim McBride, and this is The Divide. This song is called Hold the Wild Wind Out. About to steal the sun A breath of daylight All that's left in the longing Has begun With the highway you call me Just won't let me sleep Restless spirits On the wind singing their sad song to me It sounds like a tired day Dancing in the rain Two steps from the trip On the track and the kiss of the coming train You've been headed down so long now How will you ever ride? I have my doubt Your tongue cold to hold the wild And I'm blowing all of the blessing from the ride
Thank you so much. All right, this one's called Civility. It's too late to talk truths tonight. Worn out by the war and my final reason Face down on the front line, forcing the fight Surviving in the shadow of a shattered nerve Who'll be the first to stand up to be shot down? Who'll be the first to retreat? We'll send a message over enemy line of surrender to civility Adore me, I couldn't hear you 
When you were near me Oh, I wanted for you to do Was to cheer me on And then Our love, the song Abandoned when The words went wrong Thank you so much. Hey, Tim McBride and the Divide. How about that? Whoa. Second time on this little grassy knoll here. And, uh, you know, hopefully not the last. You gonna come back next time? Yeah, you'll have us. All right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, can I give you this? Yeah. So tell me the story of the Divide. Oh, well, started in the 1800s, back in the... It all started with, how would you get a chair? You would have, no. <laughs> I got, I got time. I got time. Yeah. Um, well, uh, the band started actually uh, when I was living up near Seattle, uh, back in like 2016 probably, and a couple of different guys I was playing with, and uh, we made a record, the one that's over there, available. About for, five years ago? About five years ago. In 2018, we made a record with Don Farwell at uh, Earwig Studios. And we were just playing around. Uh, we played in Olympia a bunch. You know, I've, I've lived in Olympia for a long time, and I was living up there briefly. Um, and then when I moved back down here for good, um, I started playing with these guys. And I met Ira right before the pandemic began. And my, my other bandmates were like, you should find some people in Olympia to play with. And I was like, of course. And I met Ira. And he's a wonderful drummer, as you can give it up for Ira Peterson on the drums. Yeah. I mean, a good drummer is basically what you need for a good band. So, you know, yeah. To say nothing of a killer bass player. I mean, <laughs> bass players, none, none better than my man, Matt Mueller over here on the bass guitar, Matt Mueller, who we played with. I played with Matt uh, many years ago. I was in a band that played at the library uh, called the Mussins. You may remember the Mussins. That library right there. That library right there. I used to work. I used to work there, and uh, my yes, but that's not why we got the gig. <laughs> but but we had this like Shel Silverstein punk band. What? Thank you. Hey, and was this? Uh, 2008. Oh wow. 2009 is when we played the library reopening. Okay, so I'm a fan of. of that yeah. put that on your trivia yeah. card, right? <laughs> So were you doing like we, songs his, that he his, wrote his, for his, other people or that he wrote for other people? His poems put to Ramon's style music. Okay. You know, said he'd stay in my wheelhouse, right? So, Muslims reunion. Well, we, so we played one show at the library there and then we played another show in Raymond at the Raymond library. And then um, Matt was living in Seattle and then he was doing his own thing and we just, we didn't play for a while. And then when I was looking, he moved back down to Seattle, or to Olympia, and we asked him to play with us, and he said, I'll think about it. No. <laughs> hey, you keep it down over there. Oh, that's my ride. I got to go. <laughs> um, okay, so what, um, what was that? Carl was busting through. We're training through, so. <laughs> what was your favorite poem that you turned into? Oh, Where the Sidewalk Ends, probably. Okay. I mean, I don't Matt, do you, do you have a favorite one? Favorite one to play? Oh, Ickle Me, Pickle Me, Tickle Me Too. There's a live version of it you can see on, the, um, on YouTube that, wow. from the Raymond show. It was really fun. You got in on the early days of YouTube. Yeah, I don't know how. I, did, I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> Somebody else. I still can't use YouTube. I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you some.
It's not, I'm not proud of that, but. Cool. All right, so the new divide here. Uh, yes. Is working on new music that we heard some of today. A hundred percent, yes. And, uh, We're recording with Don again in September. Same dude. Same dude. He's a great dude, and uh, his yeah. Seattle, uh, his studio's in Seattle, but he's going to be moving it, or moving to Tacoma sometime soon, But so we wanted to get in the old space before he did that. Um, uh-huh. And, yeah, and basically this set list tonight is like half and half. Mm-hmm. Maybe five songs from the record, and the rest is all... Uh, Next record. Next record to cool. be released. Yeah. I really enjoy that you kicked off the first record with a bank robbery. Oh, yes. Yeah. Thanks for asking about that. I'm, I'm bored. <laughs> did, uh, did you know? I was. Uh, Is that a true story? I can't tell you. Okay. <laughs> but thanks for asking. Um, yeah, it was like kind of a debate, like whether or not to start out this record with a nine minute suite. It's not really the smartest thing to do in the era of singles and whatnot, but I was like, oh, this is cool. This is like what, what albums do and all that stuff. But yeah, yeah. it's so maybe, maybe a hair metaphor, a hair truth, you know, okay. I don't know. Yeah. See, that, see that fancy car I drive over there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who does your hair, speaking of it? Oh, who does my hair? Oh, uh, actually, I could give a shout out. Uh, Capital City Barber, uh, Dawn. I don't remember her last name, but she's over in, uh, on Capital Way, over across from the Frog Pond. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, she's yeah. in that shopping center that you wouldn't expect Where? there to be anything. Like, <laughs> oh, she right on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. That's, that's good. All right. Good shout out to Barber. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, she didn't have an appointment for you. Bef- she didn't have an appointment for me before today, so I'm a, like, I was a little disappointed. But, you know, I, it's I okay. was a little bit disappointed. It doesn't look that fresh, but it still looks it's okay. Enough. Thank you. Yeah. Maybe I'll have it cut for trivia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What did, you, what, what did you listen to when you were a kid that oh, uh, has lots of stuff. formed what you're doing today and that you still, you, you never outgrew it? Uh, hip hop for sure, hundred percent, hundred percent. Hip hop and then like glam, glam rock. A lot of glam rock when I was young. Hip hop, bad hip hop too. Uh, well, I got well, I got into right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got in. I think I. I mean, I was pretty young when I first got into hip hop. So like, it was like really like. Beastie Boys, Fat Boys, you know, LL Cool J, like the good, you know, it was a lot of the Def Jam stuff. No, that was later. Like, but I think actually I've been, I was lucky enough to sort of live through the goal, a couple of the golden eras of hip hop, you know what I mean? So like the 80, late 80s stuff and then the like 1993 era stuff is also like huge influence to me still to this day. Everyone's like, (laughs) everyone's a lot of hip hop on the new record. I do have a, uh, should I tell them? No. There may be a secret hip hop side project that you may not know about. So I, I did release. Really do not know about. I released uh, three. <laughs> I released uh, three EPs in 2021, okay. and they were all different styles of music. One was uh, a, a Tim McBride thing. We played a few of those songs tonight called Half of the Time. Mm-hmm. Another was for my punk band from Seattle, The Snubs. Um, and the other one was uh, my hip hop project. That was my return to hip hop after 25 years. Uh, so, uh, and that's under the name Jay Pines. And you, you can find that on Spotify if you uh, so desire, or band or Bandcamp, and you could buy a tape actually because there's a tape. Oh wow! Yeah, okay. yeah. I had a laser rap phase for a little while. Laser rap. Yeah. What does that mean? What does that mean? Behind me. <laughs> like, uh, you know, you picture like a lot of uh, a lot of sound effects machines and. Yeah. Uh, like kind of the slow, loud, boisterous rhymes. Okay. Rather than the like a really nice flow, but it's kind of uh, like innovative, like say Run DMC, but with more lasers. Sure. Lots of lasers. Nice. Smoke, mirrors, all of it. Yeah, I. Um, we don't talk about that anymore. Though. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's not something I bring up a lot, but I've noticed a lot of people are like, like. Being like tied to a genre is not really a thing anymore. Like when I was a little kid, it was like you gotta be a this or you gotta be a that. When I remember when I like got into punk rock, and it was like all everything else was like, like why would I listen to something that's like made in a real studio when I can listen right. to something that was recorded in a boombox in a garage by some kids down the street? You know? And now turns out Fleetwood Mac was a punk band the whole time. <laughs> I know. I never knew. 
Well, you've been great today, Tim. Thank you so much, Markley. Coming on the low profile live. I appreciate you having me, man. I was like so thrilled that you asked us to do this. Um, and uh, I, yeah. I Thankfully, that guy dropped off, right? I mean, you were like, it you were was like, to be Tim McGraw. I mean, <laughs> you're like, you're so good at trivia. Do you play music? And I was like, I don't, but for you, I will. I'll get a band together. together. Yeah, I was like, you know, we'll write some songs. Like, oh, yeah, beautiful. Okay. Well, man. Tim McBride, everybody. Yeah. I'm Mark Lee Morrison, and this has been Low Profile, Shirler Sundays Live with Carl Blau and Tim McBride in the Divide. I hope to see you this weekend for the final installment of Shirler Sundays, featuring Olympia's Blues Fairies, along with Amps for Christ and Gun Outfit, all the way from L.A. That's Sunday, August 13th at 3 p.m. behind the Carnegie Library in downtown Olympia. Next week, we'll pick things up with The Gift Machine, Hot Rush, and author John.